Hello everyone, it is John. We are looking at yet another one of my unfinished projects. I am sure I'm going to get there eventually, but I really enjoyed this game called The Awful Green Things from Outer Space. Now there is another edition before this which is a lot older that sadly I don't have. And um, I thought, look, I wanted to eventually get to do a um, the space board for this because the characters see the map board itself is nothing really um, difficult uh, what I wanted to do obviously was enlarge it really it's I'd say probably a uh, I'd like to do a six by a six by three uh, this is in uh, Imperial, by the way, six foot by three foot board, and have this made up so that people can play this game using these miniatures that I have found. And look, these were from, I can't remember, well, I think it was But, Ug but Ugly Aliens or something, but look, the models were just perfect. They were selling them, I think, in packets of... There were random packets, I think, that came with um, with these models. And I managed to get enough to be able to build, I guess, the crew out of it. Like, for instance, Captain Yid. Well, I don't think you can mistake him for not being a captain. And I think it's a perfect model. It really is. So I've done him as my captain... Uh, the first officer, obviously some sort of alien with pointy ears, a, a Mr. Spock on steroids. Look, <laughs> and this thing, I don't know what it was in the in the t in the cartoon series, but look, I made this the mascot, and it's quite a good thing, uh, a quite a quite a decent model. And what I've done is that I've used um, beads. I think these were beads. Yeah, you can see the holes in there so there were numbered beads and some other beads to mark a differentiation between each of the stats because i think in the uh, let me have a look at the oh, i love this you actually get a little comic a little comic relating to awful green things so the um so there was i think i made it to be um I think movement, attack, and constitution. So that's what I had. Oh, sorry, I put that back up there. I didn't have it in. Got to have a. I'm using a camera on a tripod, so of course I've got to try and remember where the focus is. Um, so yeah, we had. I had a movement, the uh, its uh, attack dice, and then its constitution. Obviously, how many hits that it would take. So it was, it was quite good. So the only thing that I haven't found yet, and while these are magnificent to depict all the bits and pieces, like you know, I've got a pilot, the dock. I think the dock is quite, quite good, as well. It's uh, makes for an interesting piece. So yeah, all the pieces are quite good. Um, yeah, so I was really happy to be able to do this. The only thing I've got to build are the aliens, these um, the awful green things themselves, because they've got a few uh, levels of development. They've got an egg, and then they've got... Uh, hang on, let me see if I can find it. So they're eggs, babies, and adults. So I've got to try and find myself something to represent these so as you can see my project's still ongoing I've never yet been able to find and of course what you then also have is that there are chits that are on the board that represent all these particular pieces of equipment so I'm hoping that uh, I will find something on say Thingiverse or something like that and get them actually printed up so that you could actually stick a uh, you know a ray gun or whatever on uh, on the uh, on the model itself so look how creative have you been when it comes to wanting to enhance a game now I know so many board games these days get blinged out but 
how many people have decided to sort of go, look, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to use something totally different to make it an interesting game. So this is a fun game. I've enjoyed it in the past. Uh, my memory is shocking. I'm not even going to attempt to say how it plays uh, because it's sadly probably been 20 years since I've played the game. So I'm not even going to attempt to try and remember. But the enthusiasm I had at the time was this was what I was going to do. So, yep, okay, another unfinished project that's in my list of projects to finish. But look, it kept me occupied at the time and uh, I will, I, I don't know, get there eventually. Who knows? Anyway, tell me, what projects have you started that you were really enthused with uh, and never finished it off? Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.